In the St. Louis metropolitan area, most of the courts require you to provide what is basically mandatory discovery or a statements of income statement of property. So what I and most attorneys would really like is for the other side to lie on those documents because they're sworn documents. So if your husband or your wife says, I make $3,000 a month, when in reality they make $6,000 a month, they will get to hear about it on the stand as I ask them why they lied. Now I'm going to put it nicer than that. But that's what everyone's going to understand is, why are they lying about the money? It makes them look bad. It makes them be less likely to be trusted on in things that really matter, like who should be the primary custodian of the parent, who should get more time with the parent, whether or not they're going to cooperate with in the children's exchanges, whether or not any particular asset may or may not be marital. I hope they lie on it because we're going to catch them. That's what the discovery process is doing. I can subpoena their banks. I can subpoena their employer. I have done it. I've had it done to my clients. So personally, I tell my clients, tell the truth. Be absolutely as accurate as possible on your disclosures. The reason is lawyers love catching liars.